Valerie here. I was actually going to skip blogging entirely this week while I get over the sinus infection, but then a surprise arrived in Wednesday's mail for Lady McWombat. And the surprise came from my fairy godmother, also known as my actual godmother, my Aunt Chrissy. And she sent this lovely children's book called Wombat Goes Walkabout. She sent this letter with it addressed to Lady McWombat. Milady, yesterday I went to the local library to help with the used book sale. While I was busy straightening up the book piles, I found this book. I knew immediately I was meant to send it to you. After all, I discovered it on Wombat Friday. It is a lovely story about Wombat who only digs and thinks. He comes to realize that digging and thinking are wonderful life skills. The book has gorgeous illustrations of your homeland and the other fine species that live there. Perhaps you could share the pictures on the Wombat Friday website. Surely some of the other wombats would enjoy seeing them too. Hoping that you enjoy the book as much as I did, I remain affectionately yours, Great Aunt Chrissy. Wombat Goes Walkabout It's written by Michael Morpurgo, illustrated by Christian Birmingham. One day, Wombat woke up and thought, I think I'll dig a hole today. Wombat loved digging holes. So off he went and dug a deep, deep hole. He crawled inside and sat there in the cool and the dark. Who are you? He began to think, cried Kookaburra from high in the sky. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do, Wombat? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. That's nothing, cackled Kookaburra. I can fly. Look at me. And he looped the loop and flew away. Wombat wandered sadly through the bush, still looking for his mother. Just then, Emu came scampering by. Who are you? He snapped. I'm Wombat. So that's what said he did. Wombat. He climbed, and he climbed, and he climbed. When he reached the top, he looked about him. Everywhere he looked, there were lots of cackling kookaburras, hopping wallabies, swinging possums, hunting boys, scampering emus, and dozing koalas. But no matter how hard he looked, he just couldn't see his mother anywhere. But he did see something else. He saw smoke. What are you he doing? He saw fire, they asked. I'm digging, replied Wombat, and I'm thinking too. What are you thinking? They cried. I'm thinking that fire burns faster than you can run or fly or hop or swing. And I'm thinking that there's plenty of room down in my hole sang him the digging song that his mother had taught him. When at last it was all over, the fire and the song, they climbed out into the evening air. I wish, sighed Wombat, looking around him sadly. I just wish I could find my mother. I've lost her, and she's lost me. Well, why didn't you ask? They all said. I've been we'll looking find everywhere you. for you, she cried. I was worried sick. What have you been up to? Not much, Mom, said Wombat. I've just been thinking a lot and digging a lot. That's all. Lady McWombat and I hope that you enjoyed today's story. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.